It is 477 meters long, 124 meters wide, with a maximum displacement of 1 million tons. This is Pioneering Spirit, the largest pipe lay vessel on the planet. In the port of Rotterdam, a giant vessel is ready to perform a unique task, laying the offshore section of the Turkstream pipeline. The Pioneering Spirit team will be the first in the world to lay two large diameter pipelines at a depth of more than 2,000 meters. The plan is to lay 3.5 kilometers of pipes a day on the bottom of the Black Sea. How is that possible? Pioneering Spirit uses the S-Lay method to lay pipe, which can be described briefly with the English letter S. The S refers to the shape the pipe forms between the vessel and the seabed as it is laid. Steel pipes are welded, inspected, and coated in the production factory on board. The pipe exits the vessel via a steel structure, looking like a giant sting. This 170-meter construction is submerged during the pipe lay. The pipeline smoothly descends downward through the water until it reaches the seabed. This engineering solution ensures high-speed operation for the pipe layer. The advantage of what we do is we can do the manufacturing of the pipe in a horizontal way. And this will give normally more production than when you use a JLA tower. I think for the first project, uh, I hear if we can start uh, like three and a half kilometers a day is what we aim for. But of course, uh, uh, I mean, all the, all the vessels of, of, of all seas have done uh, several uh, world records, and I'm sure we'll do all our best to beat that. A full welding plant is hiding under the deck of Pioneering Spirit. Here, the pipe joints delivered by the supply vessels arrive from shore. First, 12 meter long pieces of pipe weighing nine tons each are welded together. Electrodes work under a layer of a special powder which allows the oxygen to burn fully and ensures perfect metal bonding. After ultrasonic inspection of the weld, the 24 meter double joints are fed into the main firing line. Here, they are connected to the main pipeline. After further thorough ultrasonic examination, a special polypropylene coating is applied to the pipe joints to protect them from corrosion on the seabed. For Turkstream, this job is done by a shift of nearly 60 people. Two welders and two uh, helpers in each station would be 12 welders and 12 helpers to the station, two in AUT, and various numbers in the coating station. The coating process is very uh, strict on this project, and there'll be 30 people in the coating. These unique devices, tensioners, ensure the retention of a two kilometer section of the pipeline between the ship and the seabed. Each new 24 meter piece is welded to the pipeline in less than 10 minutes. All this time, Pioneering Spirit has to maintain her exact position, even if a storm is raging on the sea. This is possible due to a unique system of 12 powerful thrusters. Each of them generates 6,050 kilowatts of power. This dynamic positioning system allows the vessel to achieve outstanding accuracy. Pioneering Spirit deviates from the ideal position no more than half a meter. DP as such is of course something that has been existing for more than 25 years. Uh, so, I mean, staying in position within one meter for DP is quite normal. But I've seen this vessel perform for uh, three days in a row uh, with the top side lifting and we stayed within 20 centimeters. Pioneering Spirit was built between 2011 and 2014. Turkstream is the first pipeline to be laid by this giant. Two lines with a throughput capacity of 15.75 billion cubic meters of gas per year will directly connect Russia's largest fields to the Turkish gas transportation network. This will provide reliable energy supplies to Turkey, as well as southern and southeastern Europe. Both offshore pipelines will start near Anapa on the Russian coast and will land on the Turkish coast near Kiyakoy at a distance of 100 kilometers to Istanbul. Today, 570 members of the pipe layer crew are completing the preparation for this challenging task. They will have to lay two 900 kilometer lines of this unique offshore gas pipeline by December 2019.